Hi, I want to take a few minutes to show you our controller software. So this software was all developed by our in-house uh, software group. And that's what we refer to as our iKulu software. So this is all touch screen and uh, any of the mouse clicks that you see me doing here would normally you just be touching the screen. So along the left here we've got a listing of the various programs that you can run. So as you click on these, show you the image of the file. And then over on the right shows the information as far as type of material, estimated cutting time, and the part size. If you click on this little I button, it'll show you how many times the program's been cut. Uh, if I want to load this program, I can either click on the Load Program button, or I can click on the Setup Program button, and I can do some more uh, advanced features. So if I have a plate of material that's loaded on the table, and it's not perfectly square on the table, I've got the option where I can click on the Align with Plate button and rotates the part so it lines up with the bottom of the sheet. You can then move it onto the sheet, lock it on the sheet, and drag it down into the corner of the material or wherever you want to cut it on the sheet, and it'll remember that start point. You can also mirror an X and Y. You can scale things up or down. You can put in a specific number for rotation. Uh, the Part Rate tab, you can put in information as far as um, if you want to do a rectangular nest. Uh, tell it how many rows, how many columns you want to nest. You can change those numbers. So we're going to do a two by two array. You can change the uh, spacing between the parts. So you can click on the program spacing number and type in whatever gap you want between the parts. And then click array program into parts and it'll grid it out for you. And of course you can always change it. So if you decide that you now want to do one column, you can just go in there and click on array program into parts again. It'll redo it. You can also click on the email button and there you can plug in information. You can put in uh, two emails. You can put an email yourself and somebody else. You can send emails for every program that's cut on the controller for either when the program starts and finishes, just when it finishes, or just when it starts. So you got three options there. You can do the same thing for an individual program. So if there's a particularly hot job, you can just send an email for that one job. And once you've got your part as you like it, you can click on the load part button and it'll bring you into the running screen. So here we see the part and we'll see a little star here that shows where the uh, camera's looking at. We've got a camera that's looking down on the table and we've got an offset between the crosshairs on that camera and um, the center of the nozzle. So we bring up the camera here. This is what the camera's looking at. So that's green stars where that was looking at on the table and when we click on the move to start point we'll see that the cutting head the red crosshair will move into location for the start of the program some of the few buttons we can use up here we can uh, zoom out uh, click run program and it'll start working its way through the program. Over on the left here you can see a listing of the uh, the code so it's standard MG codes very uh, easy for somebody to figure out and see what's going on in the program. So here we see where we are in the program. This button you can zoom out, zoom to the extents of your cutting area, zoom out, click on that again. It'll zoom you out down to your part level and then you've got your sheet level. So there's three levels of toggling with that button there. You've got the green plus sign to zoom in, the red minus sign to zoom out, the ruler button you can click any two points on the screen, it'll give you a uh, measurement between those two points. So you get the color coding, so red for the width, blue for the height, green for the uh, diagonal there. And then you've got the tracking button here. If you turn on tracking and you zoom in close, the uh, tracking will always keep the cursor on the screen. So when the cursor goes off the screen like it's about to do there, then it'll automatically recenter that on the screen. So if you're working with a part that's got a lot of small holes you can be zoomed in close and don't have to constantly be zooming in zooming out and down here it's showing us that uh, we're emailing so in this case a single part we're uh, emailing this shows down here elapsed uh, time and then uh, estimated time of six minutes and 31 seconds also shows us the status bar down here with the uh, estimated time left so you get that visual clue also if I click down into uh, this box here, uh, brings up our one of our software controls button. We've got hardware control 
buttons on the front of the controller like feed rate override we've also duplicated any hard button with software buttons so if I click on the software controls button then uh, we get the feed rate override knob here that you can click on and rotate the, the, um, the knob to change the feed rate so as I rotate this see in the background that the uh, feed rate changes and you can also specify the maximum amount that you want to be able to override the uh, program feed rate by so click on this you can plug in uh, whatever number be it 100 percent or 110 or whatever and as with virtually everything on the software you can always lock people out of doing things like this if you don't want your operator changing feed rates everybody gets their own login to get onto the software so you can keep them from doing that got a few different uh, restart features click on the uh, stop button maybe we uh, ran out of out of abrasive partway through the last cut stop at any point and then there's a few different ways to recover the cut you can either hold down on the reverse button for a few seconds and as long as you're holding down on that reverse key you see the cutting head move back through the program and then where you get to when you get to where you want to resume from you can just let go and then one of the other options is the uh, jump panel button You've got three different options for this you could do jump to any point and now you can click anywhere on any line in the program and go to that point so like on this R if I click in the middle of that line uh, there's probably one line of code that connects the uh, top of that corner with the bottom corner and I'm just able to click anywhere on that line and then click again to confirm and then go right to that point so even though there's not a specific line of code for where I just clicked it's able to uh, figure that out from where I click on the graphic and then we can also do jump to pierce point so if I click near a lead-in it's going to find the closest lead-in and as I move my mouse one way or another it'll again find the closest lead-in there and then just click again on the crosshair to confirm the lead-in that you want to go to and of course there's also jump to program start if you just want to go all the way to the uh, beginning of the program if I click down into this area here there's a uh, jog panel button that I can pull up that has uh, buttons for jogging X and Y as well as A and C if I have a 5-axis cutting head on the system. There's also buttons for uh, raising and lowering the, uh, the Z-axis and turning height sensors on and off. And then up here we got buttons for turning the pump on remotely manually from the controller and then also going into low pressure manually from the controller. Uh, these things you can also do in the program so if you want the program to automatically turn the pump on at low pressure and then ramp up to high pressure at the beginning of the program and then at the end of the program shut it off that can all be set up in the uh, in the software and we've got um, here the move panel button this brings up uh, another window shows things such as uh, I can set unlimited number of home positions on the table so you can save any XYZ position on the table and give it a name and go back to that position at any time I've also got a uh, move panel where you can go to either absolute or incremental positions on the table move in any axis absolute or incrementally and you can reload previously cut programs so I'll show a listing of the uh, 20 prior programs that have been loaded on the machine and you can click on that and click move and load part it'll move right back to that position and relative position button will reset your uh, coordinates to zeros so that you can use that to verify that you're for example always moving back to a same location so now that that's part is completed if I want to cut it again I could just jog my cutting head and as I jog you'll see the uh, crosshair move representing the cutting head moving so if I hold down on this recut program button for a few seconds there's a, a sub menu that will pop up where you can do test runs at either 10 times or 100 times the program feed rate sometimes comes in helpful especially on 5-axis parts if you quickly want to uh, zip around the part to make sure that the cutting head is doing what uh, you think it should be doing so see, we'll click on that and it'll start going through the program rapidly it also comes in helpful if you're doing a uh, large part out of thick material and you just want to check and verify that the uh, outside cut is going to fit onto the sheet of material. You can just jump to the uh, the outside pierce point and then go into that uh, dry run. 
So one of the other things we can do from here is if I click on the Add Program button, I can go into a, a Teach mode. So if I click on Teach New Part, it'll bring me into a screen. Click on Begin Teach, it'll draw a, a traverse line over to where my cutting head is currently. And if I bring up the live camera, it can show us where we're looking at here. So if I want to put a hole in at this location where the crosshair is, I can just here click on the Add Hole button and then specify the diameter of the hole and I'll put all the codes in for the water and the abrasive on and off and then the codes to make the hole and of course could also just use the same capability to program the entire cut around the outside so you could just traverse to where you want to start cutting for the outside save that point and then you can click on cut on to turn the water and abrasive on and then traverse to the next point and save the next point and keep making your way around a part that way. Uh, we can also teach a curve or an arc so if we want to do an arc from here to about here we can click on the teach curve command and then it says find a point close to the middle of the arc so if that say for example is the middle of the arc you can say add point to curve and then you can go to the end point of the arc so we just jog over and if our end point is supposed to be down here somewhere say add point to curve and then for the final line uh, we can use the close contour button click on that it'll just draw a line and close up the contour and puts in the uh, abrasive and water off and then we can save it and now that'll be in our list of programs that we can cut so some of the other things we can do here, we've got a uh, screen for maintenance. So in here we can track consumable life. So we can track the life of any consumable item on the machine, nozzles, orifices, high pressure seals, poppets. Uh, can track how much abrasive is in the hopper. Uh, when any of these items gets up to 80% of its expected life, the uh, controller will start giving a warning back at the main screen and if you click on that then it'll bring you to the uh, consumable that needs to be changed. We've also got PDF manuals in here so any document in PDF format you can read right from the controller. Same thing with the videos, we've got a bunch of videos on here that you can double click on and download and watch them right from here. So we put a lot of uh, a lot of information right at the operator's fingertips. And another menu of interest is the uh, plates area. So here you can define either rectangular sheets or you can also define irregular remnant sheets. So you can just use the cutting head or the camera and go from point to point on a remnant sheet of material to uh, indicate the shape of the material. And then when you want to load something on the table, uh, click on the load on table button and then basically just move the crosshair above the uh, the corner and so if we wanted to indicate that with the camera we could just jog over to wherever that corner is on the table and of course you can move slowly with the uh, feed rate override knob if you want to be more precise with your positioning so then we say okay cutting heads above that corner and then it needs to know a second corner to give us alignment so you can pick another corner and then we can just go back and again jog over to where uh, where that corner is and then say plate in position so that was the plates button parts we've already looked at uh, got buttons like diagnostics, control panel setup areas that our uh, service department normally gets into uh, in this area here you can set up the uh, various permissions that the different levels of operators have on the machine so you can give them permission uh, for example uh, to be able to remove programs from a uh, from the controller you can either turn that on or off add parts so any of these features you can limit who can do what on the controller so that's a quick overview of some of the capabilities that are on the controller there are obviously many more features that uh, that we have built into here and um, if you have any questions about any of this anything else you'd like to see let me know thanks
One of the optional features that we have is the uh, software for the Android pendant device where we can load our controller software onto uh, any Android device such as uh, here I've got it loaded on my cell phone so uh, as we kind of position this, hard to see with the glare there, but you can see an image on the cell phone of what's being run on the controller and uh, you can also start and stop the program from the Android device so there's a uh, button there you can touch on it'll stop the program and also shows information as far as a percentage of time left there so you see it's about 38 um, percent so you get an idea of how much time is left in the program and if I touch on uh, stop program it will uh, pause it so there we can see in the background here it pauses it and then click on that again, touch on that again, and it'll resume the program. So you can also do things like jog the machine around, uh, some different screens in here that uh, that we can go to, show you the various screens. Here's the uh, jogging screen for jogging in X and Y, and there's a screen for jogging cutting head one up and down, turning the height sensor on and off, turning water and abrasive on and off. And then if you've got a, a two-headed machine like we've got here, there's also the same thing for head two. And then there's a screen here, move panel for jogging in any available access on the machine by a specified amount. So touch on the uh, axis, shows you a list of axes that are available. So you got, uh, various choices there so if you want to move an X by a certain amount touch on that and then you can specify the uh, distance down here there's a you can touch on that distance for now it's a thousandth of an inch touch on that pulls up some predefined uh, distances or you can click on the custom option to move it by a specific amount so if we want to jog by one inch in X I can touch on that and then select either to go minus or plus positive one inch or negative one inch and there the cutting head moves and then the screen here is uh, for feed rate override for either jogging or cutting can change the uh, speed right from the uh, the device and then if we go back into our running screen here again shows us where we are and we can just touch on run program and it'll resume So that's the Android device.